Hey guys, what's up? Billy Cardigan, and I'm here with the Obituary Band, which is a very cool dark metal band. Um, I don't uh, from um, where are you from? Uh, Tampa. From Tampa, which is a very cool city in the U.S. and uh, we're here to talk about the guitars and pedals they use to make the very scary death metal music they make. So what kind of, well, let's talk about which pedals do you use to make the rock sound that you make. I just have a Kemper pedal board. Yeah, that's it, and just program whatever in, into it. I'll have like a tube scream or simulated tube scream or whatever. So what color is this Kemper thing you're speaking about? It's green. Behind the gear. What kind of pedals do you work with? It's black. What is it? Uh, Proco. Rat. Rat. So that's like a cool name for a pedal. It's kind of cool, yeah. Because that really fits the image of the obituary band. And obituary, that name has a very graveyard or death kind of theme to it. That's true. Because obituary is like a listing that lists if someone died. Yeah. So that's a very, you know, dark theme. Yeah. So is Rat. Behind the gear. So you used to be called Executioners. I did read that on Wikipedia now that you remember okay. me. Okay. Yeah. So you used to be called that, and that also is about killing people and death. But you, you guys never killed anyone? Behind the gear. What year was that that the Executioners started? Was it Executioners? Exec the executioner. Okay. The Sing Executioner Band. Single, single form. Okay, the Executioner Band. What year did they form? At, form? The Executioner Band, um, 1984. Wow. So that's the old time. Were they doing like Beatles kind of stuff back then, and then they changed? Yeah, it was more... Uh, Ario Speedwagon. Behind the gear. So, you know, metal bands, you know, I'm very scared to go to metal shows because, you know, scary looking guys like you, you seem pretty nice to me. But scary fans with the things in their nose and all over the place. How many, like, the murders and stuff happen a lot at these shows? Like, do people get killed in the bathroom and stuff? We hear stories after we leave of, of things happening to people, but yeah. we, we haven't... I got proof that it has happened. Behind the gear. So let's talk about this guitar. What kind of guitar is this? That's an ESP. Uh, M2, E2, or E2 M2. Yes. And is it cool? It's very cool. And why do you use this one instead of like you know the one that I have? Which one do you have? I don't know. It's blue. Um, I don't know because I asked for this one. I, probably if I saw your guitar, I'd ask for that too. Who did you ask for this? Um. Yeah, DSP dude. And he just gave you a free guitar? Well, uh, he sent me a guitar. Because what I would do if I was in that situation, I would say, hey, could you send me a guitar? Then I'd sell it on eBay and then get whatever guitar I wanted. Right. I know people probably do that. Behind the gear. And why do they put the army look on there? Do you want to have... Because you have a lot of themes going on here. You have the rats. You have the black metal... Right? Or is it black metal? No. Okay. Behind the gear. Because you know, like, if you play this right now, like, play that? Yeah. yeah. Right. It sounds very boring and sounds like a children's type right. of instrument. Right. It definitely. But if you plug the pedal in, then it could sound like a Led Zeppelin kind of rock sound yeah. or other hard rock bands. Behind the gear. Is it rude to ask how old you are? Oh, no. uh, you want our age of dog years or? Just regular human years. Seven. Seven dog years. So that's what? 32? 49, I think. Yeah. Behind the gear. Do you like, use anything on stage? Oh, yeah. I use a rat as well. Another rat. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. two rats and then a dark green glass thing. Pedal. Yeah. Yes, it's dark too. Yes. Dark glass. What does the dark glass pedal do? Nothing. It's just for show. It's got a cool blue light that comes out of it. Chicks like it. <laughs> that's it. On all the movies I watched about rock bands, it's like a lot of girls and stuff really like guys that are in groups and stuff like that. So like, do a lot of like, like girls come up to you? And if they do, are they like scary looking? Do they have the piercings all over their face and the tattoos and stuff? Or is it like cool? I've never had a girlfriend. I don't know. Women coming up with junk all on their face, you know, sometimes. Like Cheetos and stuff? <laughs> uh, 
behind the gear. And that's the of the two women that are at the shows. Yeah. So it's mostly a boys' night out for yes, these shows. Yes, it's, it's, a, it's a male sport. Behind the gear. What band is you similar to? Metallica? No. Are you better or worse than Metallica? Um, oh, of course we're better. But Metallica is a very cool band. Yeah, it can be cool, but not sound good. They you were know. cool. Yeah. They don't sound good, or they're not cool, or both. Who? Metallica. Oh, um, I've never met them, so I don't know if they're cool. Well, there's the one European guy in there, and then there's the other guys, and they seem pretty. They make very cool rock music. Yes. Yeah. So I guess they are cool. Uh, let's just go with their cool, musically and and just people too. Very cool. Behind the gear. And when did you join the band? Uh, 2011, full time. <clears throat> and is it cool or does it suck? Oh, it's very cool. Yep. And when did you join? 2012. And how many stars? I give it five. Five out of five? Yeah. Everyone, the pay is good and everything? Oh, yeah. I'm loaded. Behind the gear. Guys, that was such a insightful interview about the gear that you used so break a leg here in philly the obituary band they're opening for a bath and some other people Did you say we're opening <laughs> effects and pedals arena corner this has been a shy boys production